treasure chests and everything that we need to unlock because I need to uh, work my way through the story. I definitely love taking out those guardrails. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Fortune Island here in Forza Horizon 4. So, today we are going to be doing a little sports car grip toge, as well as probably ripping that drift truck, which I haven't really driven much down the toge roads. But I've been getting a lot of people commenting, not understanding why third person in uh, with a wheel. So, today we are going to be ripping this mountain race toge in these supercars. I'm using an R8, and we are going to be doing it all in first person because been getting a lot of people saying why don't i use third person or why i use third person but to answer those questions i know i've answered them a bunch of times but i do use third person when i'm in these because it's uh, a little bit nicer for you guys to see everything than inside but today you know we are going to be racing in full first person doing a proper toge grip run and then we'll probably get sideways in that drift truck to uh you know drift the toge runs in the truck that i haven't done but because there's two different versions of toge, there's the grip toge and then there's drift toge. So we are going to be doing a proper grip toge in first person today. And we're going to be running this race because this goes down the toge road. I say toge even though it's, it's basically a toge road. <laughs> we are going to be going down this road in a race in these supercars. So we're just going to hop right into it. We are in our G920 and our G Innovations 350 millimeter wheel. And we are in first person, so... This will be a full first person race down these roads. And this should be interesting. We're gonna try not to wreck into these guys either. We're gonna try and do this as clean as we can. And try and actually win the race. I know it's uh, once we get to the mountain roads, it's gonna be pretty sketchy. I'm gonna take this. And there's that grinding of the gears because I don't touch, didn't touch the clutch enough, like I should. Probably broke a little bit too soon for that, but we're good. We're still okay. And now we get into the fun twisty sections of these roads. They're trying to just race clean and not hit these guys. So we're trying to do this. Oh. I would say as realistic as possible. And a quick brake check because we didn't smack into that guy. So, I am having a lot of fun on these roads. Drifting them and racing them in a grip atmosphere with a bunch of different cars. The reason we are in the supercar today is because, well, trying to complete the, starting to start these story missions off in this expansion and, uh, it wanted modern supercars, so. Oh boy, don't hit him. I know they're just drive guitars, but I'm still trying to not hit them. Ah, oh, too wide there. Just a little scrape on our uh, R8. Ooh, we are coming to the nitty gritty. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to beat these guys. I believe they are on extreme or unbeatable or very high level. Because I believe we were using them on a higher level to unlock seasonal events. But we did come out of the mountain roads in a decent shape. We still haven't really made any big mistakes except for right there. That was a bit of a hit. Slow this car down. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him, but I will take second place on this. A little quick rip through the mountain. Oh my. Uh, we just died. <laughs> so we died at the end, but not a, not, a bad, uh, not a bad way to start doing that first person race down the mountainside in an R8. It's kind of a fun road to just rip and drive in a grip aspect of it. We got an achievement. What did we get? Making the cut. Oh. Reach round two of the Island Conqueror. So we did meet round two, apparently. 
which just by completing one event, I guess, and uh, three stars in the drift zone. But hey, you know what? I will take it. So we'll unlock more. We'll probably unlock a second treasure chest. Conquest, which we will be doing probably here hey, as well. Andrew. There it is. And all the rest of you. Phase two of Horizon Fortune Island is now underway, which means there's a new treasure chest riddle. Listen closely. The okay. needle climb has been known to intimidate when set adrift in an Italian 458. Good luck. Set adrift in an Italian 458. So apparently... Also, Island Conqueror Round 2 is live. Only the best drivers advance. I haven't checked the full list of qualifiers, but I'm assuming that means you. Yeah, that does mean me. So I guess... Hey, uh, I've got approval from the festival for a new flavor of PR stunt. Meet me here when you're ready. Oh, so there's a new PR stunt. But our second challenge is the needle, the needle climb, with a four five eight. So we will be doing that in another episode, maybe, or maybe today. Let's uh, let's see if we do. I believe. I wonder if we have a drift four five eight. I I don't remember if I built a four five eight in Horizon for drifting, but we're about to find out. I totally passed it. Do not have a 458. So we will have to buy a 458. So in So instead of a drift truck, I decided to bring out the Huna truck because this is pretty much an all-wheel drive toge episode. So we just did a grip toge. So now we're going to do a uh I guess you would call it all-wheel drive drift toge and try and slide this mountain road in moderation and take out Mazda's on our way up. Drift this road in moderation, not for points, but for more, I guess, speed and style. I guess you could say is, is what we're gonna be working for this time. I mean, we will be ripping the handbrake around the turns, but we will be ripping this Huna truck. We are gonna be in third person for this because uh, like I said, I feel like it's more aesthetically pleasing. I feel like this, this truck's gonna be fun. And we're gonna rip it downward since we ripped the R8 downwards because these roads are definitely a lot of fun to do racing on. Oh, don't lose it. Oh, oh my. I feel like we're in a dangerous spot. So we're just gonna go this way. Yep, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> Get wrecked on myself. See, mess ups all the time, but you know what? It's always fun. So the R8 was fun to grip it. Now we're gonna slip it a little bit down the mountain and the Huna truck. And we're not going for a massive amount of points. We're just going for uh, try and make this as smooth as possible. Because we all know, if you guys have followed the channel, all-wheel drive. Not my uh, strong suit with drifting. Definitely be getting a little bit better. But all-wheel drive drifting is not my, uh, my best forte. Or in this case, put a truck. But, uh, there we go. Ooh, alright. So, a little bit better there. Getting a little bit better in the all-wheel drive. Drifting, that might have been too much angle. But somehow we saved that. We are kind of all off track, but you know what? We're having fun with this. I feel like this thing should have more power. I feel like we need to upgrade this Hoon truck all the way. Full power, adders, and everything. So I know a lot of you guys drift only all-wheel drive. And if you have some tips for me on all-wheel drive sliding, let me know down in the comment section down below because I think it's because I don't do it enough is why I have a bit of a problem with it. Like right there. And I think I try and counter way too much, not using the actual power of the car. And then I have to zero my steer to continue on the run. You so arrived at your destination. we arrived at our destination. I feel like we're gonna rip it back upwards. I'm still only at 300,000. I need to get a good drift tune car up this mountain or down this mountain. Maybe one of the FD cars. So uh, we're gonna try and rip this uphill now. Oh, we didn't register the drift zone, so now we have traffic. I mean, I'm okay with this. 
see how we do going up. Ooh, guardrail run. Just to graze the guardrail. That turn came up a lot sooner than I thought. I feel like this would be a road that Ken Block would definitely rip the Huna truck on. He'd be doing a lot better than I would be, but oh, I'm not doing too, too bad right now. I like taking out these guardrails though, apparently. Totally missed my gear, even though I have a sequential. <clears throat> nobody, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. The miracle of persuasion. Nobody saw that, right? Nobody saw me uh, mess up. So we're definitely going to be doing a lot more here on Fortune Island with the treasure chests and everything that we need to unlock because I need to uh, work my way through the story. I definitely love taking out those guardrails. So we do have a lot of work to do in the game and uh, I'm enjoying every minute of this expansion. If you guys are enjoying the map and expansion, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What's your favorite part of it? I can tell you what my favorite part is, but you guys probably already know. It's these guardrails. And these guardrail runs, apparently. So you guys know, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All the Toronto Street from Bucks Below. I do a lot more twi Twitter. It's the fastest way to see the place. Easy. Oh. Trailblazers. Drive through the entry gate and don't slow down until you get to the flares at the other side. So it looks like we are running this trailblazer in uh, this Huna truck. Probably not the best truck or car for this adventure. But you know what? We're going for it. Oh, man. Is there a house down there? Oh, there's a barn. Ow. Well, I knew there was something down there. So... But luckily, we didn't die too much, so we'll be able to finish that trailblazer. There you go. What did you think? Fourteen-year-old path is fun, eh? But we didn't get three stars, but we did get two, so we did earn an achievement for that. So that's gonna do it here for this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram, all of which are found in the description box below. Two biggest social medias that I post on right now, as well as got some very, very interesting news coming to the channel. A uh, bit of an opportunity and. Uh, kind of some big news coming to the channel hopefully so i will keep you guys up to date with that so until next time guys i thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for coming back thank you for all the new subscribers of the channel welcome to the channel so until next time i'm evil rabbit i'm out